All right, guys, so doing some winter maintenance on the Cummins. Um, I already got the wheel off, got the truck jacked up, obviously have it on jack stands, all that good stuff. So what my maintenance are gonna be doing is, in the summertime, I was getting some brake squeal out of these. Um, and a lot of times what'll happen is these boots, there's one on the top and there's one on the bottom there. They'll end up actually ripping. And then this slide pin that goes into here will actually end up getting seized into here. And what that'll cause is it'll basically make the caliper not be able to retract um, the way that it needs to whenever you press the brake. So I'm getting into some other stuff while I'm in here. I ordered uh, Thurin um, half inch lowering coils for the back. So I figured this would be a good video. So what I did was I ordered brand new boots for these. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to get this caliper off, tell you the exact size, tell you how to replace these boots and show you the exact grease that I'm using to go ahead and get you guys on your way for next year. So I don't drive this truck a lot in the wintertime, um, but if a lot of you guys do drive these trucks and actually work these trucks, this is definitely gonna be a pretty good video. So I'm gonna show you the part number and then I'll show you the tools required to get this caliper. All right guys, so first thing I'm gonna show you is the part number, which I'm gonna link these below. Um, all these boots are that makes this like slide pin is it just compresses and then it slides the pin back out. That's without these rubber boots, this pin in here does not slide. So this will be down in the description. Um, I got these off Amazon. I think they were really, really cheap. So put that down in the description. Um, a little bit of Amazon affiliate never hurt anybody, right? But anyway, top bolt here is this is a 13 millimeter. So your top bolt's gonna be a 13. And then technically you wouldn't have to take um, this off if this pin comes out of here, but I'm gonna assume that the holder itself is gonna have a pin. So this is a 21 millimeter. Now let's make sure you're using six point sockets on these. Um, do not be using uh, 12 points. You're probably gonna round them off. So I'll put you on a time lapse. I'll get this off and then I'll show you what I'm trying to do. All right, guys, so got the brake caliper off here. Show you what we're dealing with here. So um, this was gonna be the top one, which you can see it retracts. And I'm gonna be able to pull this pin out, clean this up, and this is gonna be no problem at all. This bottom one, you can see zero movement. It doesn't move, it's seized in there, and this boot is all the way collapsed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a butane torch on this, and I'm gonna get this super, super hot, and it's actually gonna melt this bushing, but whenever I get this really hot, I'm gonna have this piece right here in a vise, and all I'm gonna do is work it back and forth like this, and uh, while I'm in here, I'm gonna service my brake pads also, but I'm not replacing the pads because they're still in good condition, but this is definitely something you wanna look forward to. A lot of these trucks, they get a lot of squeaking brakes because honestly, people just put cheap pads on them, but this also is not helping at all with wear. You can see one of them's wearing faster than the other, so. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to show this part, but I am. All I'm doing is heating up this metal part right here with a butane, and then this in a vise, and I'm just going to work it back and forth, and then I'll show you guys when I clean these pins up. So if you want to see, I should be able to pull this one right out. Yeah. So if you want to see what your pin looks like, that's what your slide pin looks like. And that's what the hole looks like it goes in. So obviously I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to regrease this, and then um, I guess I'm kind of talking now at this point, but. The bolts that go in here, I'm gonna anti-seize them too because obviously I want my next brake job because I'm keeping this truck forever to uh, be a lot better than the first one. So let me get into this and then I'll show you guys. Hey right, guys, so got the slide pins out. Um, like I said, torch <clears throat> and a vice. It might take you a little while, but you can see the corrosion was built up on this one. This one was one that was stuck. Um, so I just dipped this in some heavy duty grease that I used for my dirt bike. Um, clean the bottoms up really well. The reason I dip them before I put the boots on is when I slide the boot down, I'm hoping that it coats the rest and then gets down in here. And there's already some grease left in here that I'm gonna go ahead and dab in each one a little bit before I put the slide pins in. But this is how, this is the condition of these you want. This one had a lot of rust build up on it. You can actually see that. So this one had a good bit of build up, but um, go ahead, put that amount of grease on it or more. You could, it's your decision. It's gonna go ahead and slide in the hole either way. But that's what I'm gonna do, put the boots back on, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So finishing up on the workbench, 
a little bit of anesthesia if you guys have used this stuff a little bit goes a long way this is the grease i used for the slide pins just heavy duty grease and then I'll show you guys what this so the bottom one was stuck before see how it has that rebound and then top so i also did clean this hole out really well show you guys the amount of grease i use you can use more you can use less either way whatever's not going to be used so it's going to either be squeezed back into this boot or it's going to be off so let's get this back on the truck and that'll pretty much finish up the video so i guess i am going to close it out here guys this also can go towards i guess servicing your brakes as in like changing them um the pads and stuff while you're here i'm not going to i got plenty of life left but these slide pens guys this is a lot of what's making a lot of noise um, probably from squeaking, uneven brake wear, or just kind of losing that feel of that new, tr new truck feel. So guys, if this helped you out at all, make sure you smash that like sub and until next time, support those who support you.